What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're going to be taking a special preview look into 12.1. Uh, a couple new little changes here and there. Nothing too big. So if you guys do enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like down below. Every single like is very much appreciated. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you're notified when we upload a brand new video. But we're going to be taking a look. There's quite a bit of new changes. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the first one. So the first bit of changes came in for challenges but at the moment on the preview build there is no really different challenges they say they added a huge pool of new challenges so uh i did see one whenever i first got on the preview that said get one kill in elimination and then one consumable kill in shootout something like that so you can expect some different challenges that relate to elimination and shootout, but that's pretty much it for the challenges. Alrighty, next up we have a brand new guide. This is going to be huge for you new players. Very huge for you new players because this is kind of like your own tips and tricks thing because it actually shows pictures and it actually gives you a brief explanation in this. It is a brand new updated guide. So if you click on gameplay, it has movement, shooting, solos, trios, challenges, crafting, disconstructing, crates, leaderboards, report system. Oh, that is actually another thing I want to show. There is a brand new report system. So I think this will show who you played against last or who you had in your last encounter. And you're going to be able to report them. I believe I'm not 100% sure. But this is how you can report players. So, for example, as I'm in this menu, I can go to last played with, but since I haven't played with anybody, there is not anything there. So, for the players that you think are possibly cheating or doing things like that, you can now report them. But that's pretty much it for that, the game guide. And then also, I covered the report system. So, that's pretty cool. Alrighty guys, and then also with 12.1, we are going to get the Legacy Season of Season 8 Trappers. So if any guys have been waiting for Trappers Season 8 to come out, um, so you can be able to get it if you're a new player, you now have that opportunity with the 12.1 update that's coming. A lot of great, uh, this was actually a pretty good season for if you're like a fan of like the Baklavas or the PH or even some of these bags. Or even this hunting like outfit. This is going to be the season for you that I think you'll enjoy the most. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Season 8 Trapper's Legacy Season is going to be available in 12.1. In this 12.1 update, Elimination also got a UI update. So don't know what that means. But also we're going to be taking a look at uh, drop shotting because they say it was mitigated. I don't know what they mean by that. But from what I can tell... Doesn't seem like it changed at all, so I'm gonna do a little bit of drop shot in here just to show you guys an example. I'm running, I'm running, I'm about to shoot this scarecrow, right? See so the scarecrow jumps out and tries to shoot at me. I still feel like it's the same. Nothing really changed from what I can tell. Let's go ahead and try to shoot this scarecrow. See, I'm running up on it. Uh, we're getting a gunfight. I mean, I guess. The bullets are hitting the ground more. I don't know what they were expecting to change. Like, I mean, still pretty quick. Doesn't seem like it changed at all. If it was me, I'd make it to where you can't shoot at all until you are fully prone. Like this. So say you're running up. You are going to drop shot. Say somebody's right there, right? Say somebody's right there. I'm going to drop shot him, right? Can't drop shot until like that. I think that's the best way to fix drop shotting is make it to where you can't shoot until you fully laid on the ground. That was even too quick. That was even too quick. So say like this. On the ground. There we go. That's how you fix drop shotting. Make it exactly like that and it's a lot better. It's not as bad. You still get the other person enough time to fight back. But yeah. Drop shotting. They say it was mitigated in this update. I don't really see it. Alrighty guys, we are in an encounter because I want to show you guys something else that was reworked, I guess is what they said. It was the stagger feature. So whenever you get shot or you are staggered or possibly run into a bomb, they say there is a new stagger feature. So let's go ahead and see what that is and see if we can get it here with this contact bomb. Let's walk up to it. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's always done a blue feature like that. Um, let me use some 
disinfectants here. Uh, let's do it again. Let's do it again. I'm gonna place one right here. We're gonna try this again because I feel like has it always. Oh, you even move slower now too. That is interesting. That is very interesting. So we're gonna do that again. We have one more. We're gonna place it right here. Wait for it to activate. You're slow. You run slow and it blows your screen. I actually kind of like that better as a stagger. I wonder if that works the same way with being shot. It's blurred and you move slow. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. So we're going to drop a mortar right here. And whenever it comes, we're going to run through it. We're probably going to die here to this mortar. Uh, oh, yeah. Yep, kind of figured that was going to happen. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we made it back to the shelter. That pretty much wraps it up with all the info in 12.1. Just one more last thing. We will be getting a brand new pack. It is called the new Premium Pack Expedition Absolution has arrived. So uh, I've seen in some of the art that Vigor have shown, uh, some of the screenshots, there's somebody wearing a red like coat. I want to say that might be the new pack. I don't know. We're, we'll have to wait and see whenever the actual update comes out because at the moment we don't have any of that information of what it looks like. But uh, also I noticed, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the goggles I'm wearing are not purchasable in the game at this moment. But this is what showed up in the shop, so this will probably be the next special shop cosmetic is these goggles. Uh, I th think they're diving goggles is what it's called. So kind of like scuba gear kind of stuff, which is interesting. I like it with this outfit though, with the headgear. So uh, that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. And uh, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications so you are notified when we upload a brand new video. But uh, without further ado, catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Outlanders.